To the cave is a place for tourists. Have to cave has the lagoon. Crystal water. For swimming, the second cave you can see for the goo vielli. It's view. Oh, it is? View. Oh, you should see it in the screen. The goo view. The goo view. Well, let's go find the goo view. Morning. We just had breakfast and we're gonna head out to do a little hike today, get a little viewpoint of Vong Viang since we got here last night and we haven't even seen what the city looks like. So we're gonna go check it out. So our first stop for the day is a viewpoint called Ka Gern. I know I'm <laughs> pronouncing that incorrectly. There's some ends at the beginning of the word, so I don't know what that means, but it's a 53 minute walk outside of town. It's supposed to be 92 degrees today with 85% humidity, so we're gonna get our sweaty workout in. <laughs> so in order to get to the outside of town, the city sits right on the river, and in order to cross, you actually have to pay. So we're gonna go check out and see what the ticket price is just to get over there. You got your ticket. I can't tell what is for vehicles and what is for humans. So the city of Long Vieng really began as an outpost and then apparently in the mid to late 90s it was notorious for being known as a huge drug hub. People would come here, float down the river on inner tubes, get super wasted, high on really hard drugs and by about 2009 there were up to 20 deaths per year of just young people having heart attacks from overdoses along the river. Also, drowning in the river or breaking their neck, like really terrible things. Yeah, so before we came here, we were a little nervous that maybe that was still a thing, but did a little bit more reading. And since about 2012, I think that the government has gotten a lot more heavily involved. And so now we can definitely still see the party scene around, but it looks like a lot more of the draw is about the nature side of things. So that's why we're here. <laughs> All right, left. We made it to the base and now it looks like it's 10,000 kip per person to head up. So basically, you pay to be in pain. <laughs> I can say I've definitely earned a shower. Uh huh. And it's only 11 o'clock. Well, usually you don't walk an hour to get to a hike. That's usually included. We don't know how long the hike will take. Yeah, so. It's 500 meters up, I think is what it said. Does that make sense? Yeah. So these are the exact days that we remember why we're doing what we're doing, why we quit our jobs, why we're traveling the world as young people instead of waiting until we're retired because when I'm retired, I'm laying on a beach in Tahiti. Because we physically couldn't do this. Because. I ain't doing this when I'm old. No, 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 no. All right, so we just ran into our first couple on the hillside. It's been about an hour and we were really excited to see some humans and we said, are we almost there? 
And they said, they said yeah. no. <laughs> you are just at the beginning, they said. So, apparently there are two viewpoints. One is halfway point, one is the very top, and we might settle for halfway um, on a normal day. We'd do the whole way, but I might... We're making an exception. I might lose it today. Okay. Okay, so the last time we saw it said 300 meters. Now it says 50. So we can do it. This is the trail? The treacher. Oh man. All right, we landed. It's pretty awesome up here. I don't yeah. think that there's any reason to even go to the next peak over because this is just so perfect. I would assume the view is quite similar, just a little bit higher. Yeah, just higher, but same view. This is sufficient. <laughs> uh, it's wonderful. Be, be prepared to pay for the most expensive water. Oh yeah, water up here is three times the price because they have to walk it up themselves. Yeah, props to them. <laughs> Well, we completely overdid it today with that hike. And our next plan was to go to this really cool cave down the road, but it closed uh, by the time that we were done with lunch. So I think we're just gonna stay here and nap. How do you feel about that? Yeah, today's um, officially over in our eyes. <laughs> Good night. Good night, Brayden.